how to create a toggle button in Excel that whenever you click on the toggle button, Excel is going to switch between the tabs that you have. We can have multiple tabs, multiple sheets with different informations. And here I am using two different tabs, sheet one and sheet two. At one side, I have a chart and a very small table. And if I want to go back to the other side, to the first tab, I can simply click on the toggle button. Simple as that. So let's see step by step from scratch, how can we create this toggle button in Excel? And of course, you can use this toggle button in any, any different Excel file that you have. As we are going to create a toggle button to click and switch between tabs, it's very important to have some tabs in Excel. And here I have two different tabs. The first one with a data set and the second one with a chart and also with a small summarized table, let's say. Now let's go back to the first sheet that I have. What I want to do here is I want to create first a header, okay, to both of my tabs. Of course, we're going to do this process only once and then I can copy and paste the header and all the elements such as the toggle button to the other tab. Uh, let me do something here that is, I want to click on the number here to the left. Just click on the number because that way we can select the whole row. Then I can right click in this number and then I can go to insert. That way Excel are going to add a new blank row for me. Now we're going to do this process maybe two more times to have a larger space to work. And I want to increase the width of the, the row number one. So I can click in between one and two, hold and drag down because the way I can increase the width on the number one in the left corner of the on the screen, I can click again. And now I want to change the color. Maybe I want to use a light yellow. However, you can use the color that you like the most. Now in the row underneath, I want to use a different color, maybe a more vivid yellow, let's say. And I also want to make sure the height is a little bit smaller than the height that we used it before on the header. Now let's create here the toggle button. I can go all the way up into the insert tab. And here I can use a shape that is a rectangle with rounded corners. I can click on the screen, hold and drag because the way I can create the area of my rectangle. Let me stretch this rectangle a little bit to the right and also make sure the width is not too large. I want to that rectangle be contained by the header. And with this yellowish circle, I can drag to the right or to the left to make it rounder or sharper. Let's make it all the way to the right because that way we can have the roundest as possible like this another thing that is very important to do is whenever you have a column that is going to change the width let's say column d i want to increase the width as we can notice the shape the rectangle is also going to change the area because it's going to follow the area of the column behind it but i don't want to allow it to happen so what i can do is I can right click in this rectangle and then I can go to size and properties and all the way here in the right corner, this new panel is going to open up and I can go here to properties and check, don't move or size with cells. Okay. That's it. Simple as that. Now we can close and whenever I change the width of any column here, the shape is going to stay in the same position and with the same area. Now let's click again here in this rectangle and I can go to shape format. I want to create a custom design such as I can use a shape effect that is a shadow just to make sure this shape pop-ups. I can click in the shape again and uh, in shape format, I can use a shape outline maybe black and I want to make this outline a little bit thicker so I can go to weight and use maybe three. Okay. 
and in the shape view i want to use the same color as we are using right now onto the background like this if you prefer you can also change the outline to a yellowish tone maybe like this and let's increase a little bit the height of the header maybe a little bit more okay like this and yeah now what we need to do we need to create a very round circle to be contained by the rectangle that we did so let's say the circle is in the left corner of the rectangle this means we are in the in the tab to the left however if the circle moves to the right it's because we switch to the tab in the right okay so we can switch using this toggle between one sheet and another and what is going to indicate that we are switching between the tabs are is this little circle so i can go to insert and then shape let's take here a shape that is a circle like this i can click hold and drag and now it's very difficult to make it really round so what i can do is i can go here all the way in shape formats and all the way to the right height and width needs to both here need to match the number so let's say i want to use one and uh, also one here that's it now we have a round circle but let's make it smaller maybe i can use one 0 0.4 and 0 0.4 a little bit smaller 0 0.2 0 0.2 yeah that's it now let me drag this here okay and as the format the layout let me use also something like a shadow a outline or i don't need an outline however let me use here a dark yellow and as the shape feel i want to use a very saturated yellow let's say okay i think it's it's good now this is the toggle uh format when we are in the first tab okay something that uh, we are missing here is the the name of the tab so let me go here to insert in uh because the way we can put here two text messages one with the name of the first tab and another one here to the right with the name of the second tab shape rectangle and also create a rectangle here to the left however guys it's very important again to go to properties and allow the property that doesn't allow to move okay however how can we do it because we also have here a circle and then just in a couple of minutes we also going to have another rectangle here to the right so let me select the first shape that i have and then using my keyboard i'm going to use the shortcut keys that are Control a Control a because that way i can select everything that i have right click size and properties and then again here to the right I can go all the way down to properties and then don't move our size with cells. I can close this panel and then let me go here to this rectangle using the arrow keys. I can move a little bit to the right, a little bit up and let me make sure I can remove the outline and also get rid of the shape fill. Okay, that's it. Now let me click it once again here in the, in the rectangle because that way I can write down the name of the sheet. The name of the she is going to be, let's say, she one. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I have no ideas right now, but uh, let me just use she one as the descriptive name, let's say. Home tab. Let me increase a little bit the font size. And also, I want to ally in the middle and ally in the center. I also can change the color of this text to a black one and use bold. To highlight this text i can also make it a little bit larger or increase the font size now let me click here in the corner of this rectangle and then i want to copy and paste and to copy and paste something in excel we can use ctrl c and then ctrl v ctrl c ctrl v that's it i want to use the arrow keys because that way it's easier to move it around i want to give it this position right here and this one i want to call it maybe charts yeah that's it however because this text is the one that is not activated let's say uh what is currently 
the tab that I'm at is the first one, the one to the left. So the one here to the right needs to be a smaller font, maybe 12. I can align to the left and use a yellowish color. And the shape one, I can align to the right. Yeah, that's it. Now, when I change or click into the button, I want to switch between those tabs. And how can I do it now? Let's say I want to click on this sheet right here. And now I want to use again a shortcut key in my keyboard that is the control, control, or control A, as we did see before. Control A, because I want to make sure you do not click within, within the rectangle, because you don't need to write down anything. So click on the border, okay? That's it. Control A, because now we did select everything that is here, uh, that is part of our toggle button, right? Now we can go here to shape format, all the way to the right, group, group. Now everything here is grouped together, and that's it. Another thing I can click in this grouped element now and move all the way to the top portion and uh, a little bit down. Okay, now it's easier to move it around. Let me click again on this element and then Control C to copy everything. Now I can go to Sheet 2 and let's create here a space to input the header. Or if you prefer, what you can do is you can go back to the first tab where you already did everything. You can select the first, the second, and the third row. Click on the number and drag down. Right click, cut. Now go back to the second sheet. Select the first row. Right click and then you can insert, insert, copied cells. That's it. As we guys can notice, I could also copy the elements. However, if the elements that you used before are not here, what you can do is you can come back to the first sheet, click on the element in a way to select everything, and then Control C to copy. Now you can go back to the second tab, select the first cell, Control V to paste. However, as we can notice, they are not in the same position because there is a little space here in between the element and the bottom portion of the header. So we can adjust using the arrow keys in the keyboard like this. I think it's okay. Let me go back to the, the previous one. Yeah, I think it's perfect. Now, how can I make this work? I can right click in, on those elements and then I can go to link. The link is going to be responsible to switch toggle sheet one and two. Okay. Now let me go to link. Excel opens up this tab and I can go to place in this document. And whenever I am in the first sheet, I want to move to the second one. So let me select here sheet number two and then okay. Now we can go to the second sheet and do the opposite. Right click, make sure you do not select just only one element, however, everything, okay? The entire group. So let me click here on the border, right click, and then I can go to link. Now I want to go to sheet one. That's it, okay. Now if I click here, I can move to the first sheet. If I click again, I can move to the second one. However, there is no movement, there is no animation. How can I make this interactive? Let's say, now I am in the first sheet. Okay, so it's correct. However, when I click here, Excel already switch between the tabs, but the toggle button is not going to, is not being animated. And to do it, let me first click on the circle, but be aware, be mindful, because if you click again, you're going to move back to the first tab. So what we can do is we can click and hold down the control key. Control key, press and hold down. Let me select only the circle that I have within the tog toggle. One more time. Okay, that's it. I could select only the circle. Now with the arrow keys, I can move this to the right. Perfect. Like this. Again, with the control key, I want to select the text that I have here. And again, control key, I want to uncheck or click again in the circle to unmark it. Now let me increase the size of this text. 
maybe 18. As the font, I want to use a black color. And again, here in the shoe one, I want to press the control button and click in the text to the left. However, I need to uncheck, unmark the one to the right. That's it. Let me change the color. Maybe this one. Let me make it smaller. And I think it's okay. It's done. Let's see. Yes, guys. As you as you guys can see, it's working. And whenever now I click on the toggle button, Excel is going to switch between the tabs. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know. Comment down below. And I see you tomorrow because almost, almost every day has a new video.